Glad to have you back. Now, the Bielsa State's Governor, Doya Dewey, has called on the federal government to enact laws that would checkmate the activities of international oil companies in the state, which have, that, which have devastated rivers and soil due to oil pollution. The governor made the appeal during the International Conference on Petroleum Pollution and Transition in the Niger Delta region in Abuja. And our correspondent, Peter Ishaya, completes the report. Stakeholders have reaffirmed their commitment to address oil spill and gas fearing in the Niger Delta region. They said all hands must be on deck to the menace of devastating impact of oil pollution and promote sustainable environmental practice. Most of these things, these uh, policies and, and rules, the way they are enforced has always been to the disadvantage of those of us who are at the receiving end. And sometimes, as I used to say, the lopsided laws governing the oil and uh, gas industry. However, that law is there by the Land Use Act. But when it comes to oil and gas, the federal government has taken, given by one hand and taken by the other hand. Where it is very clear that if oil and gas is found in your land, you have the surface rights, but the, land, the oil and gas on the ground belongs to who? And these are very lopsided laws that operate in our country that has tied the hands of the state government and the communities. Some of the actions that have been taken before now, one major one, was the passage of the petroleum industry a bill to an act in 2021. And one of the pillars in the bill was the Host Community Trust Fund. As of today, it is on record that we have worked assiduously to ensure that about 135 Host Community Trusts have been approved. We continue to work closely with national and international stakeholders to tackle the key issues of environmental remediation, community empowerment, and policy reforms that will drive this transition. The oil companies know what they are doing. They know the consequences of what they are doing. And nevertheless, they keep doing it. They give us what they, in their own societies, cannot take. And they don't care. Take advantage of our weak regulatory systems, weak institutions, weak laws and leadership. To address this environmental genocide, stakeholders recommended way forward that will help to address environmental pollution in the Niger Delta region. The Nigerian government must act also to strengthen both the funding and powers of regulators and the role of state governments in bringing companies to book for their failures. The Delta region is the biggest region is the biggest delta in Africa and it, it also has a very important you know, biodiversity but it's also a carbon sink if it is well cleaned up. And to want to continue to increase the number of barrels of oil for Nigeria without first doing that, uh, without first carrying out the recommendations in the report amounts to callousness and insensitivity on the part of the federal government of Nigeria.